Oh, hi. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I know that a lot of people are probably very busy. I myself am very, very busy lately. I have a lot of orders that I need to complete, which by the way, if you made an order on my Etsy shop and you're watching this, I want to say thank you very, very much. I really appreciate it. I wanted to do like a really, really quick tutorial and a really simple, easy pattern for you guys. So I need to keep this intro very short because I'm on a schedule. The pattern is free, so make sure you download it down below. The link is in the description right there. Okay, so now let's get started. This pattern was made for the shirt to be like very fitted to your body, so make sure that you're working with the stretch fabric. You're going to get a pattern piece that's for the front that looks a little bit too weird. So let me just explain it to you really quick so that you're not kind of confused. So this right here is the very bottom of the shirt. This is the side seam, one of the side seams. This is the underarm, the armhole. This is the shoulder. And then this is where the neckline starts. And then there's like a half circle scoop that's in the neckline that was then cut and slashed and spread out to make the pattern and so then the neckline continues here and then this is the other side seam on the other side i know it looks like what is that but i hope it kind of makes more sense now that i explained it my pattern pieces are cut. The first steps are to sew the shoulder seams and both of the side seams. As a really quick side note, the front piece is going to be a little bit bigger than the back piece, so please don't worry about that. It's completely normal. Now, normally I would use my serger machine, but because I'm making this more of like a beginner friendly video and not everyone is probably gonna have a serger machine, I'm actually going to use just my regular sewing machine and use a straight stitch. It's so doable with a regular sewing machine. Okay, next we need to finish off the edges. So that's the underarm and the neckline partially and the back neck, well, wait, back neck, the back <laughs> and the bottom, so the hem. And the way that I'm gonna do it is just by folding it over the half inch and stitching it close to the edge. Normally I would at least serge the edge so that it has a nice finish to it, but I'm not gonna do it because I'm just pretending like I don't have a serger today. For you guys, for the beginners, for those of you who don't have a serger, and also because I'm lazy. <laughs> I have my hem hemmed, ready to sew. I have the armhole also folded over, ready to sew. And then the neckline, just so you guys are very, very sure, the neckline starts from here. It goes around the back, that's the back right there, and then it comes back to the front and stops right here, right before this big dip starts. Please keep in mind that when you're sewing on your regular sewing machine using a straight stitch, you need to stretch the fabric just a little bit. And I mean just a little bit, please. So, something like this. I don't know if you saw that, I stretched it just a little bit. Not like that, but just a little bit. Your other options can also include a zigzag stitch if you want to on your sewing machine, but I just don't really like how that looks. That's just my preference. So I kind of avoid that look. It looks a little bit cheaper. It'll probably work better than a straight stitch, but good choice. are 
almost done. Do you see how quick that was? It's like legit an hour project, if not less. This is just great. The last thing that we're going to need to do is create a channel right here in that big dip that we have left. That channel that we're going to create right now is where you're going to have either O-rings, some rhinestone chains, or you can have some straps. These aren't the straps that I'm going to use, so I was just showing you an example. What I'm planning on probably doing, since I've used O-rings too much already, I'm probably going to use this really, really pretty rhinestone chain. I got like a whole bunch of it. I got it on Amazon. It was for my belt project. And so now I figured I need to use it for something. I'm going to go for it. So please keep in mind that this dip has not half inch seam allowance it has three quarters of an inch the reason why i added three quarters of an inch to the pattern is because i really don't know what you guys are going to use as like your straps or whatever so this is just to like accommodate basically more of a variety of things Excuse my nails, by the way, I really didn't have time to redo them. I'm gonna sew my stitch about a quarter of an inch away from the edge so that I create a quarter inch channel. Oh, that's not good. Eventually. Okay, channel is done. It's time to now take whatever it is that you decided to take, which I decided on the chain, which now I'm a little bit concerned because how am I gonna push this through the channel? It's not like I could put a safety pin on it and attach it to the end like I would with straps. Oh, okay, wait, hold on, maybe. Maybe this will work, <laughs> we'll see. I'm not gonna cut the rhinestone chain yet because I don't know how long I'm gonna need it. So I'm just gonna keep it on here and I'm just going to try to push it through the channel from this end all the way to the other end, obviously, and hope that this tape doesn't come off. Wait, I feel like it's already coming off or maybe not. Okay, so far so good. We made it, yay! At this point, like, I really don't know how long I need to make this chain. So the best thing you can do, and this is also if you're working with straps, it's the same stuff. You need to actually put on the top. If you have someone to help you out, that's honestly, like, the best thing. If not, then... I hope you have some flexible arms. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Or obviously you can just use like a tape measure to kind of like help you measure. And then if your straps are elastic or like a stretchy, just subtract like maybe one inch, two inches so that it's actually fitting nice and that they're not too loose or, you know, too flimsy or, or anything like that. So yeah, I'm going to go try it on. I'm going to ask for some help. <laughs> So I cut the chain to the length that I think I need and I also marked off in the back with these pins of where each chain would go so the only thing that I really need to do is just bring it back here, put it in place and then just tack it down. If you guys can see there's like gaps in between the rhinestones. I'm gonna put it onto the shirt like that and then hand sew it um, right between the rhinestones and that's how it's gonna hold in place. That's the only way that I can really think of.
It's honestly not the best idea to record after you have some Taco Bell. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you do actually download the pattern and follow along with this tutorial with me. And I would love to see some creations. Guys, please keep tagging me on Instagram. I love to see when you guys either use my patterns or follow along with my tutorials. It's so much fun. You guys always create such beautiful things. Keep it up. Good job, you guys. I hope you give this video a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe. Share my video with friends and family because it's definitely going to help my channel grow. And I would appreciate that so much. And I'll see you at my next video. Bye, you guys.